Are you tired of your laptop overheating and throttling and giving you low performance? Well, if you are, keep watching this video because I'm going to show you how to reduce your temperature and at the same time get the max performance out of your CPU. So let's get started. Hey, what is going on you guys? Tech Alpha here, back with another brand new video and we are going to be undervolting my laptop right here and I'm going to show you how undervolting can really help improve your performance and reduce temperature on your laptop. Now, what is undervolting you ask? Well, undervolting is pretty much reducing the voltage given to your CPU and trying to match the required voltage of your CPU in order to reduce excess temperature and give the most ideal amount of performance which is the max amount it can get. So you're wondering that when you reduce voltage, you're probably taking away the performance, right? Well, not really because these CPUs have a required voltage, but your laptop right now is giving it excess amount of voltage. Because you're giving it too much, the temperature is too high and it starts throttling and gives you low performance. So we're trying to match the required voltage so that we can get the ideal performance out of your CPU. So in order to do this undervolt process, you need an application called the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, also known as XTU. The links are in the description. Go ahead and download that application to start your process. So as soon as we load up the application, before even tuning anything, I'm going to do a stress test on my computer for 10 whole minutes. So as you can see, the CPU stress test is going on. And if you take a look at the graph right there, you can see that the max frequency is taking huge dips every once in a while. And every time that the max frequency goes down, you can see that the temperature is also at a high point. And as you can see, the stress test completed and the stress test graph shows we have peaked up to 90 degrees Celsius, 93 degrees Celsius, and that's way too much heat than you should have. And as you can see, the max frequency has also taken huge dips, but the goal by the end of this video is to have a consistent max frequency and a consistent CPU utilization while having low temperature. So let's go on to advanced tuning and go into the core settings. So while you're here, you can see this thing that says voltage offset. Now I want you to select that and most likely the professional way to do it is by going negative 0.05 and then go to 0.010 and just go by each number and see the most stable number for you. But because I already know my stable amount, I'm going to go with negative 0.060 to show you guys an example. But if you're doing it on your PC, I would go by negative 0.20 each time until you meet your value, even though it takes time. So we're going to run a stress test after this undervolt and see what happens. So as you can see now, the CPU utilization is consistent and the max frequency is also super consistent and the temperature has also dropped a lot. Well, not too much to be honest, it's only dropped by 5 degrees Celsius. We're now averaging about 85 degrees Celsius, but it's still hitting some high 80s every once in a while. It's no longer doing power throttling, so this could be an amount to stay safe at if you don't want to go any further and still get performance. But I want to keep pushing it to get lower temperature, because in the long run, for long use, having low temperature will help. So we're going to go with negative 0.125. And basically, now we're going to do a CPU stress test again and see what happens. So as you can see, this stress test is going on, but right off the bat, you can tell that the max frequency in the CPU utilization is staying consistent. But on top of that, the CPU temperature is about 80 degrees Celsius on average. And now if you compare it to the first CPU stress test that we did, we started off with about 90 and super high 80s. And now to average about even 75s every once in a while, that's a huge, huge improvement. And I would say that we have reduced the temperature by almost 10 degrees Celsius, if not more or less. But is this the amount that you should stay at? I personally think that this is the stable amount for my laptop. I'm not going to push it any further. It's a Core i7-7700HQ and I don't want to go below the required voltage, but for you guys, I have an example to show you what it is like to go beyond your CPU's voltage. Okay, so now we're going to do over under volting. So let's say I go to about a negative 200. Let's just say. Like the best thermals ever. Oh, Get that right there. As you can see, I lost every single thing. Yo, you know what I might have lost? My screen recorder. 
and let's say you accidentally go too much and do an over under volt what's gonna happen is you're gonna face a blue screen and your computer is gonna crash but as soon as your computer restarts all you have to do is go back into the application and push your voltage back up and you're good to go so it's not gonna harm your computer so it's okay to go ahead and push beyond the boundaries and face experimentations but when I was doing it I lost my screen recording so I had to do another screen recording for this video but Anyways, hopefully this helps you guys with undervolting and I'm doing a undervolting GPU video tomorrow So check the description if you want to see if that video is up if it's not up yet Stay subscribed and turn on post notifications to be sure that you see that video tomorrow But anyways, this is Tech Alpha signing up with today's video Hope you guys were able to undervolt your CPU and if you were be sure to let me know in the comment section below Ask me questions do all that good stuff like subscribe turn on post notifications and hopefully now you have low temperature with high performance and your laptop is running better than ever. But anyways, this is Tech Alpha once again signing on with today's video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.